Today, our Red Sox begin their 124th season in Boston and their 113th season at Fenway Park, America's most beloved ballpark. We are honored that the 2004 Red Sox are here to join us today to support two very special young people as they take the mound just as their father did so many times before. Catching the pitch is their father's former teammate and dear friend who has become more like a family member to Trevor and Brianna, Jason Veritek. Okay, Brianna, let's see a pitch. We lost two individuals who represent everything we strive for, love and hope, selflessness and resilience, kindness and decency. And finally, we welcome a group of families whose lives were forever changed by the generosity and compassion of Red Sox Hall of Famers Larry Lucchino and Tim Wakefield. Please welcome patients from Franciscan Hospital for Children and the Jimmy Fund. Taking on the Red Sox starting pitcher, Bale won on opening day, 6-4 to four at Seattle, had no decision at Oakland to follow that one up. Chopper to Casas, he'll backhand that, and flip on to Bale for the out. On one hop, that'll be snagged by Valdez on the outfield grass, two up, two down. No and two on Santander, two down, just getting underway here for the home opener, and that'll be popped up. And a play on the infield. Rafi coming in near the mound. And a quick start for Bale. He gets a 1 2 3. Red Sox coming up at home. A lot of lefties against Corbin Burns. That's not always a good thing for a lineup. Burns, who makes his Fenway Park debut, his third start with the O's. Sets first base side and delivers on 1 0. And there's a bouncing ball to first base. Kicks up on Mount Castle. He calls off Burns and gets the force out himself. 25th different ballpark he's pitched in. And so far so good as Colton Kowser grabs a fly out of Devers. Here comes Tyler O'Neill who's been on fire. 357, five homers, five RBIs, tied for first in home runs. Here's the 2-2 pitch to O'Neill. He swings and drives one left field high and deep. You can forget about this one. Long gone. Out of the park on the fly. Tremendous home run for the American League leader in home runs. Tyler O'Neill and it's 1-0 Red Sox. And that ball was still rising when he cleared the car rental sign and went deep into Lansdowne Street, maybe even beyond it. Whew. Rushed. one nothing Red Sox. What a way to break into Fenway Park as a member of the Red Sox. A home run by Tyler O'Neill in his first at bat here in a Boston uniform. Wow, was that crushed. Brings up Tristan Casas. Up the middle base hit. Tristan Casas who really has been swinging a really good bat here in recent days after a chilly start. And Yoshida with a soft ground ball to second. This is easy for Tony Kemp. And the inning is over. It'll be Ryan O'Hearn to begin things in the second. Mullins takes a walk. A sinker outside. He's the Orioles first base runner today. And that'll give Colt Kowser a second inning shot. Here's the pitch. Mullins goes. Pitch is taken for a strike throw down. The second is late, and Mullins swipes it. 3 2. Kowser goes out to left center field. That ball well hit toward the monster. That ball is halfway up it. Colton Kowser heading into second base. His first Fenway Park at bat, and he parks it off the monster for a game tying double. Now that's what I'm talking about. The Orioles and Red Sox are all tied after three. Down to third, ricocheted off Devers, and Ryan Mountcastle. Will reach first base with two down here in the fourth. And now Cedric Mullins will bat. He united a rally with two outs his last time up. To left field, over is Duran. Towards the corner he goes, and he misplays the ball, and it's off the monster. Mountcastle being held up at third, and Mullins will get to second. It was in play down the line. Duran had a beat on it. He went towards the corner in the shadows, and he just couldn't catch it. The Red Sox have misplayed two consecutive plays defensively, and it's second and third with two down. Two balls and two strikes. Kowser trying to put the Orioles on top for the first time today. And he will do just that in the gap in left center field. Two more runs to score. Kowser looking for another double. A crazy slide. He's safe. And the ball was dropped anyway. Colton Kowser with three RBIs in his first two at bats at Fenway Park. With the Orioles ahead three to one in the bottom of the fourth. Yoshida on the first pitch. Short right field. Kip a long way out there. Slides and makes the catch. 
in foul territory. Tony Kemp with a fine play. Boy, that is big time there. Because you talk about it having to go a long way. Tony Kemp was the only person who had a chance of this. And I mean running wide open with his back to the infield. Slides and collects the ball. Well done, Tony Kemp. Gunner lined up very sharply to right fielders last time up. Henderson right side. That's a fair ball. And Gunner Henderson is into the book. That ball can rattle around in the corner. It took a clean bounce for O'Neill, though. And Gunner will stop at second. He's got his first hit of the day. And yeah, he puts on the sprinkler. The waterworks go. are back, baby. One and one. There goes Henderson. He's taken off for third. Throw to third base. And Henderson safe. He got to third anyway. And it was an awkward one bounce throw from the pitcher Winkowski. That could have been a disaster. Devers able to make the catch on one bounce, but if that gets by him, that's a run. Good chance for Adley to add to the lead. Rutschman toward the middle. Rutschman a base hit. Henderson will score, and Adley Rutschman gives the Orioles a fourth run. His return to Fenway Park proves to be a lucrative one. Orioles have done a bunch of the little things right today, and then Corbin Burns has been absolutely dominant. And down he goes. Corbin's got the breaking ball working. He has struck out six now out of the last 10 Red Sox. We're watching an ace at work here, silencing this opening day crowd at Fenway. A couple up to second base. Mateo waits for it on to first. Out. Seven complete for Corbin Burns here in Boston, allowing just one earned run on two hits. If that's it for Burns, he was spectacular. Ryan O'Hearn has a walk and a single his last two trips. Here's the other Ryan. And potentially a double play ball goes right through Hamilton. And the Red Sox porous defense continues to be a big issue here today. And the Orioles have two on, nobody out. Cedric Mullins to bat against Winkowski. He's not bunting. He hits a ground ball toward the middle. It's knocked down by Hamilton, but that's all he can do. That will be a base hit for Cedric Mullins, and that loads the bases up. And here's the guy you probably want up, Colton Kowser, who has driven in three of the four runs. Infield in, Kowser hits it in the air. Right field, it's fairly deep. O'Neill going back, now moving in. He makes the catch. Tagging from third is O'Hearn. They're going to throw into third on one bounce, but it's a sacrifice fly for Colton Kowser, and now he has got a four RBI game. Orioles make it five to one. Gunner's got a double and a run score. Gunner with a ground ball. That sneaks through. And the base hits are starting to fall. They're starting to find holes. And the Orioles having a nice offensive day here at Fenway. It was just a matter of time. The 0-2 pitch hit on the ground past the dive of Casas. It's in the right field. Henderson turning and burning for third base. Throw comes in from O'Neill. It's way offline. But now runners at first and third. Nobody out. And the Orioles have something brewing here with Anthony Santander getting ready to bat. Santander with a line drive base hit over a leaping Valdez and that will get in the sixth run of the game. The Orioles now seven for 11 with runners in scoring position and Anthony's got RBI number 11 on the year. Base is loaded. Cedric Mullins trying to add on here in the ninth and Mullins drives the ball into the gap. Look at Rafaela's jump but he could not get to it all the same. Start the merry-go-round. One run is in. That's it. Hayes goes sliding down around third and it's seven to one Orioles. Seven runs 13 hits for Baltimore. One run two hits and two errors for the Red Sox who have played porous defense it's cost them Tristan Casas right back to Jacob Webb what a start to the Orioles American League East season Burns Coulomb and Webb retire the final 18 Red Sox in a row and Colton Kowser drives in four in his Fenway Park debut it's a seven to one victory here in Boston.